probiotics are one of the fastest growing dog supplements. That's because few other supplements can have such a significant impact on the immune system and health. As we acknowledge more about gut bacteria and the major role they play in health and metabolism, we strive harder to keep our dog's microbiome healthy and balanced. But could probiotics have a part in forming a healthy gut? Hi, this is Russell from Happy Lovely Dogs. In this video I want to talk about what are probiotics, what kind of prebiotics, how probiotics support the immune system, when should you give your dog probiotics, what is the best probiotic to give your dog, are there natural probiotics for dogs, choosing a probiotic supplement for your dog do probiotics have side effects and how long should dogs be on probiotics. What is the microbiome? Bacteria live in all regions of your dog's digestive tract. There are just a handful that reside in the stomach but as you travel down the intestines, the numbers of bacteria rise. But, by far, most bacteria live in your dog's colon. The complex population of bacteria and other microorganisms in your dog's gut is called the microbiome. These bacteria generally function together and they work just like any other organ. In fact, scientists call the microbiota the forgotten organ. Each microbiome is unique to each dog, just like a fingerprint. That's because every dog is exposed to a distinct environment and diet. What are probiotics? Probiotics are living organisms that give health advantages. These healthy bacteria are found in your dog's gut, in fermented foods and in supplements. Certain yeast species are also considered probiotic. Beneficial bacteria have a few vital tasks in your dog's body. They help digest food, produce key vitamins, including vitamin K and B vitamins, produce serotonin and influence mood, produce enzymes, reduce the gut pH, crowd out harmful bacteria, produce fatty acids that discourage the growth of harmful bacteria and support the immune system. What kind of prebiotics? Bacteria consume exactly what your dog eats. But healthy bacteria enjoy one food in particular, fiber. There are two key sources of fiber for your dog's gut bacteria. Soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is labeled soluble because it forms a hydrated mass with water. Soluble fiber is almost entirely fermented in the colon by the bacteria residing there. It's one of the key sources of nourishment. Examples of soluble fiber include pectin from fruit, beta glucan from mushrooms, seaweed and chlorella, some grains, guar gum, extracted from guar beans, and methylcellulose, a chemical compound extracted from cellulose. Resistant starch This starch is resistant to digesting enzymes in the small intestine, thus it also goes to the colon virtually unmodified. Collectively, we name these chemicals prebiotics. Once these prebiotics reach your dog's colon, the billions of bacteria that live there gobble them up, they ferment them. Before we continue on how probiotics support the immune system, hit the like button so the other dog owners also can view this video. How probiotics support the immune system. When bacteria ingest fiber, they poop out short-chain fatty acids SCFAs. The three main SCFAs are acetate, propionate and butyrate. Short-chain fatty acids either remain in your dog's colon or they travel into your dog's body. Either way, they play an essential part in your dog's health and immunity. They can feed friendly bacteria and discourage the growth of harmful bacteria, help form the protective mucus layer in the gut, keep the cells lining the gut close together, they prevent leaky gut, reduce glucose levels, which protects against metabolic disease and obesity, build important T-cells in the immune system, which helps reduce chronic inflammation, protect against food allergens and help the body absorb calcium, magnesium, iron and other nutrients. Since 80% of your dog's immune system is in his gut, bacteria are vital to your dog's health. Specifically, a broad and well-populated bacteria community is crucial to your dog's health. When should you give your dog probiotics? Because friendly bacteria strengthen your dog's immune system, most canines can benefit from probiotics and probiotic meals. But there are a wide variety of health concerns that can be treated by probiotics, leaky gut, yeast, candida, overgrowth, urinary tract infections, diarrhea, colitis and bowel diseases, pancreatitis, obesity, allergy symptoms and mood disorders small changes to the species of bacteria present in your dog's gut can have a notable impact on their host. The above disorders are all linked to variations in the bacterial populations in the microbiome. If your dog has a lot of different bacteria in his gut, these alterations are less likely to happen. Large bacteria populations indicate bacterial alterations will have less of an influence on your dog's health. 
but bacterial changes happen all the time. Bacteria changes can be induced by antibiotics, drugs, toxins, aging, a high starch diet and a high fat diet what is the best probiotic to give your dog. The kind of probiotic you give your dog actually depends on his specific health and demands. Here are some of the best researched and most effective probiotic strains for dogs, and the dosages you should use. 1. Lactic Acid Probiotics The vast majority of probiotic supplements are lactic acid bacteria, usually made from fermented milk. You'll see their strain names on the supplement label, along with the species name. The bifidobacterium and lactobacillus species are often shown as B or L so you might see B longum or L acidophilus. Lactobacillus species convert milk sugar to lactic acid, which inhibits the growth of harmful bacteria in the intestine. Like lactobacillus, bifidobacterium species produce lactic acid but they're not considered a lactic acid bacteria. Bifidobacterium live in the colon and can interact with immune cells. They can crowd out harmful bacteria and help support the immune system. Low numbers of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium have been linked to anxiety. Lactobacillus and bifidobacterium probiotics are pretty fragile and they typically only last about 24 hours before they're eliminated from the gut. But even though they're unlikely to colonize, their DNA remains and they can still offer many health benefits. Individual lactic acid probiotic strains include, Lactobacillus acidophilus. This is the tried and true bacteria found in most probiotics. It's well researched in dogs and can increase lactobacillus populations in the gut and reduce the populations of harmful clostridia. It also has a favorable effect on immune cells. Lactobacillus casei. This probiotic lives in the mucous membrane of animals. It's an important part of the gut-brain axis and can affect mood and emotions. Lactobacillus plantarum and Lactobacillus rhamnosus. These probiotics have been studied in dogs and have been shown to have a much better survival rate. They help build healthy colon walls in dogs with IBS and can decrease antibiotic-related diarrhea. Low levels of Lactobacillus rhamnosus have been linked to anxiety in dogs. Bifidobacterium animalis. This probiotic has been found to be helpful for managing acute diarrhea in dogs. Bifidobacterium longum. This probiotic has been studied in dogs and is another one that works on the gut-brain axis. A study done by Purina found that larger numbers of Bifidobacterium longum can reduce signs of stress in dogs. B. Longum can also help with diarrhea and food allergies. Eterococcus faecium. Enterococci are another lactic acid bacteria that inhibits the growth of harmful bacteria in the gut. This probiotic does a better job of surviving the acidity of the dog's gut than most Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium species. While this probiotic is healthy for dogs, it's come under attack recently. Scientists are worried it can cause antibiotic-resistant enterococcal infections in humans. But it's definitely beneficial for dogs and is a well-researched addition to canine probiotics. Pediococcus acidolactici. P. Acidolactici is another lactic acid bacteria that's showing a lot of promise in canine studies. It's been successfully used to manage skin conditions and leaky guts. 2. Probiotic yeast. Saccharomyces boulardii is a healthy yeast that's considered a probiotic. Saccharomyces boulardii is used to treat acute and chronic diarrhea in humans. And a recent trial in dogs showed the same benefits. S. Boulardi has also been successfully used to treat candida and yeast. S. Boulardi also helps with digestive issues caused by chronic inflammation. It can alter cell signaling pathways in the immune system. What's unique about S. Boulardi is that it can't be killed by antibiotics. It can be taken at the same time as antibiotic use to help protect the beneficial gut bacteria and prevent antibiotic-related diarrhea. 3. Spore-forming probiotics Unlike Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, the bacillus strains of probiotics are spore-forming. These bacteria can form a hard coating that protects them from heat, stomach acids and most antibiotics. In fact, many antibiotics are made from soil-based probiotics for this reason. Bacilli are also called soil-based probiotics because they're commonly found in soil and water. The most common strains used include Bacillus coagulans. B. Coagulans is a lactic acid-producing bacteria, meaning it can crowd out unfriendly bacteria. Bacillus coagulans is also anti-inflammatory and can have a marked effect on inflammatory digestive diseases. And a 2016 study also shows that it improved rheumatoid arthritis in rats. 
Bacillus indicus. B. Indicus is a unique probiotic. It produces large amounts of carotenoids. These are the yellow and orange pigments in plants. Carotenoids are powerful antioxidants. B. Indicus also produces B vitamins, vitamin K2 and quinols. This is an advantage for dogs with epi and those needing digestive enzymes. Bacillus subtilis. B. Subtilis is an inhabitant in the guts of healthy dogs. It was used to treat urinary tract infections before antibiotics were developed. Like B. coagulans, B. subtilis has a strong influence on the immune system. It helps produce EGA, an antibody that's often low in dogs with autoimmune disease. EGA bolsters the gut lining and also produces vitamin K are their natural probiotics for dogs. Bacteria ferment fiber and sugars, so they're often found in foods. Common probiotic foods include, probiotic yogurt. Yogurt is fermented milk made with the bacteria species Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus. There are a few problems with using yogurt as a probiotic. First, dairy products can cause inflammation and immune issues in dogs. Second, most yogurt contains very few probiotics. And most yogurt is high in sugar, which can cause unwanted changes to the gut flora. Fermented foods. Foods such as chaga, kefir and kimchi can be a nutritious part of your dog's diet. What's distinctive about fermented foods is the unusually huge quantity of prebiotics they contain. Prebiotics aren't fussy about the species of bacteria they feed, therefore fermented foods can potentially feed dangerous bacteria and yeast. Fermented foods can also be a concern for dogs with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and yeast infections, so use in moderation and with caution. Prebiotic foods. Foods that are high in fiber are the best choice to feed beneficial bacteria populations and support a healthy gut. Healthy prebiotic additions to your dog's food include mushrooms, dandelion greens, chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, garlic, asparagus and bananas. Before we continue on choosing a probiotic supplement for your dog, hit the like button so the other dog owners also can view this video. Choosing a probiotic supplement for your dog. The amount of probiotic you give your dog depends on the type of probiotic you choose. For the lactic acid bacteria, you'll want to seek a supplement with different strains. Most research on probiotics employ a combination of strains since findings with single strains aren't as good. Because lactic acid bacteria are easily destroyed in the gut, you will need a product with a large number of colony-forming units CFU. You'll usually want to see at least 10 billion CFU for any live probiotics to survive in your dog's gut. This is fine for healthy dogs, but if your dog has digestive or immune problems, then look for about 25 to 50 billion CFU for a medium to large-sized dog. Saccharomyces boulardii is much more robust than the dairy-based probiotics, so a smaller amount can be given. In general, you can give a half billion to 5 billion CFU. If you're giving your dog spore-forming probiotics, you can also use a smaller amount of CFUs because they easily survive the gut acidity. Look for about 1 billion CFU. Do probiotics have side effects? For the most part, probiotics are a fully safe supplement that have multiple safety studies. The most frequent adverse effects include stomach distress, gas and bloating. The more frequently reported issue with probiotics is that they don't work. Here are some conditions when probiotics may not work in your dog. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO. Most of your dog's bacteria are meant to live in his colon. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, happens when abnormally large numbers of bacteria take up residence in the small intestine. These bacteria can interfere with digestion and nutrient absorption, which takes place in the small intestine. SIBO can be caused by a few factors, including, Diets that are high in sugar and carbohydrate, reduced gut motility and drugs that disrupt the microbiome, antibiotics and steroids, it's estimated that about 80% of people with chronic digestive issues actually have SIBO. And the number in dogs might be just as high. The symptoms of SIBO include, chronic or intermittent diarrhea, weight loss, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, gas, IBS, or inflammatory bowel disease, food intolerances, skin issues and leaky gut because SIBO is an overgrowth of bacteria, giving your dog probiotics will be like adding fuel to the fire. Depending on the probiotic. So if your dog's symptoms get worse with probiotics, it could be a sign he has SIBO. 
spore-forming, soil-based, bacteria are a better choice if you suspect your dog has SIBO. These probiotics have a protective coating that allows them to stay in their spore state until their environment is safe. This allows them to pass through the small intestine and colonize in the colon. Probiotics after antibiotics. This one might surprise you. A 2018 study found that giving lactobacillus probiotics after antibiotic use caused a delay in the microbiome's recovery. And the recovery was less complete compared to the group where no probiotics were given. The best probiotics to help restore your dog's microbiome after antibiotics are Saccharomyces boulardii and soil-based probiotics, Bacillus subtilis and Bacillus coagulans. How long should dogs be on probiotics? If you're administering probiotics as part of a preventative health plan, then you can give them most days. Soil-based probiotics are often a better choice for everyday probiotics since they are less likely to cause SIBO. If your dog gets diarrhea, then a high CFU lactic acid probiotic should assist within a few days. Some studies show that probiotics can shorten the recuperation period nearly in half. It's preferable to maintain the probiotics for a few weeks, to help resolve the underlying gut troubles. If your dog has chronic diarrhea or a digestive disease, then an excellent multi-strain probiotic with gut-soothing herbs is a smart alternative. In this scenario, you'll want to maintain your dog on the probiotics long-term or until the diarrhea entirely disappears. That's all I want to talk about the best prebiotics for dogs. I recommend you to check the best training for dogs in the description box below. I'm Russell from Happy Lovely Dogs, see you on the next video.